is breaking news from the Fox 59 Newsroom. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony, find the defendant guilty. This verdict agreed to this 20th day of April, 2021 at 1.44 p.m. And there you see it and hear it. The verdict is in this afternoon. Former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin found guilty on all three counts in the death of George Floyd. Yeah, that ruling coming down just about 30 minutes ago. And right now, Fox 59's Birchel Edme is live in the newsroom right now to break down this verdict and this breaking news that uh, we've been following here this evening. Birchel. Dan Fanchin with three guilty verdicts. 45 year old Derek Chauvin faces 75 years in prison as a maximum sentence. The 12 jurors took about 10 hours here to find the ex Minneapolis officer guilty of these charges. They include second degree unintentional murder, third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. That means Derek Chauvin was handcuffed and taken away to await sentencing for his crimes. As you know, Chauvin charged for the death of George Floyd on Memorial Day weekend. Over three weeks, jurors listened to 45 witnesses, which included George Floyd's brother and girlfriend. Witnesses like the teen who filmed the now viral video of Floyd's deadly arrest and experts like forensic pathologists, a pulmonologist and use of force specialists. The prosecution argued that Derek Chauvin killed Floyd, Floyd rather after kneeling on his neck for more than nine minutes, despite the 46 year old black man's shouts that he could not breathe. Witnesses also seen on video asking for help. The defense argued George Floyd died from his drug use or his previous heart condition, not Chauvin's knee. Ultimately, the jury found the white ex officer guilty of killing George Floyd. Now, this case has gained not only national attention, but an international spotlight. The conversation has highly focused on police reform and race. Indianapolis included in that most recently with the police shooting of Dre John Reed, which actually happened just right before George Floyd's death. So now all eyes will be on the judge who will issue a sentence. In the meantime, as we've seen, Fanchon and Dan, people are reacting across Minneapolis, around the world. We do plan to bring those events to you right here, live on air and online. But for now, reporting, I'm Bearshaw Edmay.